stay still. Stay still. Will you stay still? How am I supposed to heal you if you won't stay? Bloody hell. Hello and welcome to another squad video from me, Paraplays. And in this video we're going to be looking at the Medic class. It's not a role that I play a lot of, but I've been playing the last couple of days a lot of the Combat Medic. I've come to realise a lot of players don't seem to know how to play this role effectively or what its proper role is apart from the obvious. So in this video I'm going to go over some hints and tips that are going to help you with the Combat Medic and how to get the most out of it and how to help your team. Because at the end of the day, in a lot of these games, the Combat Medic is the deciding factor in a win or a loss for your side. So let's jump in with the combat, combat medic and I'll give you some of my hints and tips. Now there was a couple of people in gaming comms asking how you heal people as the medic so this is really really quick before we jump into it. If you're injured as the medic you can click your right mouse button and you must use your bandages before you use your main med bag. So I've used my, uh, my bandages and now I am actually right clicking and I'm doing the Jedi hand and you can see the icon on screen when that goes fully green that means you are fully healed and back in the roll now you want your weapon in full auto mode as the medic because a lot of times you're going to be up close near where the enemy is you're not going to be one of you taking single pot shots get that m4 or that ak in full auto mode it'll save you so many times that this is definitely the first tip on our list of being the combat medic anywhere. get it on full auto Next tip is going to be get on the radio and let the guy that's down know you're aware he's down and that you are coming and you're dealing with it. Let him know what the situation is. A lot of times people, they die, they want to get straight back in. Even though the medic is on the way to heal them, just let them know on the radio that you're actually coming. Next tip is, is get some smoke out and ask the guy who's down where he got shot from. There's nothing worse or utterly pointless and when somebody is down for you to run straight out and get killed instantly it's absolutely a waste of two kills the medics down the team are not back up and it can affect the game as i said every time you die it comes out of your tickets up at the top right as you can hear on, here on screen so wait for the medic if you can let him get out and actually listen to him a lot of times when i go on the radio i'll say i'm coming when you revive them tell them to stay still the amount of times I've had where I've revived somebody and they've run off completely injured and got themselves killed instantly. They're there to protect you as well. The next tip is, you'll see in this video, when I revive this guy and I get the smoke out, he comes to me if I'm in danger, which is why I'm not going to go around that corner. I'm going to give him instructions on where to face and what to do. Listen to the medic. He's the one who's going to get you back up and fighting. Do it. When you're up, I want you to come to me, yeah? The point of this is so that you both don't get killed while you're trying to revive the guy who's down. Get into a safe position for both of you. Joker, keep facing that corner. Joker, keep facing the corner. That's it. Right, once you're healed, I want you to both swap positions, yeah? Go, you set. Yeah. Bath, follow me, up. come here. Keep facing that corner. Set. Now, my audio is actually out of sync for some reason on this video. What I tend to do as well is, is... The amount of times as a combat medic, when you revive somebody, you have to say to them, stay still, stay still. It is frustrating. Stay still if the medic's trying to do it. Cover him. You can turn in a circle, but stay still. Don't run off. I also have a habit of saying set. This means you don't need to keep saying, okay, you're done, you're healed. They know immediately. As soon as you say set, they're up and running and they're off. And I'm going to give you an example now in this next clip of a guy who didn't listen to me. He didn't stay still. And this is what happens. Both you and the combat medic get killed. Stay still. Stay still. Fucking hell. 
The next thing to remind you of is the compass bar at the bottom. This tells you the health of the rest of your squad. As I can see, there's a guy over to my right. The large circle means he's fairly close to me. Smaller circles mean they're further away. So if you see anybody in red, that means they need healing. They are down. Down, but not quite out. And of course, it's your job as a combat medic to go over and get them back up. So keep your eye on that compass at the bottom. Try and stay fairly close to the squad, and you'll see that this is one of the most valuable tools you can have as the medic. Can we get an FOB down here? I need some more supplies as medic. I, I can, I can, I can't. The next tip is probably the biggest key point of the medic that I've noticed a lot of players are doing wrong. You are not an assault class. You are not the first to go into a compound. You are not the first to go on an attack. No, 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 no. You should be at the back. When your squad goes into attack, make sure you're at the back. Give yourself at least 10, 15, 20 yards further back from the last man. That way, you can keep an eye on the whole squad. You know where everybody is, where the enemy are coming in from, and you're in the best position. You want to be at the back because if you're going into a compound and your friendlies go down, your squad goes down, you need to be alive, as I've said before. The medic can make or break a game. It can keep your team alive, respawning, get you back up and running. If the medic goes in first and he's down, and the team goes down, that's it, you're done. You have to all respawn. The medic is one of the most important classes in this game. Do not go in first, go in last. Do what the role is supposed to be. You're supposed to be a medic helping your team. You're a support class, not an assault class. So remember that's one of the most important parts is communication, compass stay at the back i hope you've enjoyed this video i'm sure there are many parts in this video as the combat medic you're going to say is wrong but this is what i've learned from being in the alpha from day one and a founder and a backer this is how the class is supposed to be you're a support class not an assault class i hope you enjoy it it's a, a brilliant class when you kind of uh, sometimes you can go in and think i just want to chill that game i want to help the team but you end up being right in the thick of it you actually have to think more than any other person on that team bar in the squad leader so let me know what you think of this video if there's anything i've missed or anything you can suggest that would help new players who wanting to play the medic but overall as with everything else in squad enjoy yourself it's brilliant it's a learning process and every single game is different that's what makes squad squad and that's why we love it so that's I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm going to jump back in because now I've, I've given myself these tips. I want to go back in and try them again and see if there's anything else I've missed. Love it. Boots on the ground. I'm Paraplays. Get in there. Bring your plasters with you. Look at this poor bastard. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.